talk very briefly about where we are uh, in understanding uh, psychological therapies. So, um, I am uh, uh, going to kind of group them a little bit um, uh, in terms of what you might hear about most often. So, uh, at the moment, um, the new, the one that has a new brand, uh, is something that you might hear about as CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy, um, which is actually not that new, um, but uh, it's uh, 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 what there is an awful lot of evidence uh, to support its effectiveness. And uh, uh, cognitive behavior therapy um, is uh, perhaps uh, best described as a, a structured therapy that's focused on specific problems. So it works best um, when a, an individual, when a person, is fairly clear in their mind what their difficulty might be. So for example, um, if um, a, a disorder oneself safe, or often to keep other people safe. Um, uh, and that if this is not done uh, in the way that one imagines it should be done, it will be uh, disastrous calamitous. Um, uh, and in the case uh, of individuals where there is a, a, comp a clear compulsion like that, uh, form of CBT, uh, which is often called Exposure and Response Prevention, or ERP for short, which is exposing people to what makes them feel uh, at risk, and then preventing the response that they feel they need to make in order to keep themselves or the other person safe, which could be some ritual or, or, or other, it could be a variety of things, but actually allowing them to experience that nothing calamitous happens seems to work really fairly well, um, even in sometimes chronic uh, conditions where it has been around for a long time. Um, and the overall statistic on this is that 60% of those who enter uh, a program of treatment like that are likely to experience remission. Uh, although some people fall by the wayside, it's fairly safe to say that about half the people, at least half the people who uh, have this kind of treatment will do reasonably well. Now, you may, let me just say one thing here, uh, as a little aside. You may well think that saying that 50% uh, remitting is that's not very good, it's one in two, you know, can't you do better than that? The answer is that we can't.
first-hand hand associated that's going through their mind that drives up the anxiety and trying to deal with that in a, a, a relatively sensible, rational way. Um, the, the principle.